In Spain, Real Madrid go level on points at the top of the table with their 3-1 victory over Athletic Bilbao. Tony Cruz opening the scoring. Athletic Bilbao down to 10 men. Real Madrid will capitalise that in the second half as well with Karim Benzema uh, getting a brace. Julian Laurent joins us. Jules, what's happened to Real Madrid? Ever since I tweeted out, it's the worst side I've seen in the history of the club. They've been brilliant. <laughs> Every time when they've got their back to, to the wall and when they have to react, they're under pressure, their manager is under pressure, they manage a way to, to do it. It's quite, it's quite incredible how they can just raise their level when they need to, when they want to raise the intensity, raise the movement, the, the discipline, defensively, offensively, the, 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 the clinical aspect of it as well. It's just fascinating how they can almost like switch the button and when they have to, they own it and they, they they're so good, they're so in control, like we saw tonight, for example, and like we saw in the last three games as well, the derby last weekend, the Sevilla game, the, the, the Gladbach game as well in the Champions League in between the two. It's, it's pretty impressive, really, and okay, maybe, maybe the answer is that they played for Zinedine Zidane and they wanted to show that they were there for him, and when he was under huge pressure, they delivered for him. But I think there's more than that, there's that determination, the experience helps a lot, I think. But also, it's just like, just that, that grit that they can have and that resilience when they have to have it. Luka Modric, for example, Casemiro, although he didn't start tonight, but all those players there can just turn it on when they want to almost. It's, it's fascinating. And, and, and what makes it more fascinating, Ali, mm. it's the same personnel. Mm -hmm. It's not as if he's, he's bringing people who weren't playing before. These are the same players who were terrible. And as Julian said, they, was, they were great again today. Yes, they were. And, and let's just address today's game in particular. They do get help by Raul Garcia being thrown out yep. in, in the first few minutes of the game. And idiotic, by the way, from Raul Garcia. It's the right decision. Well, well of course it was. Yep. There's no doubt. Both challenges were worthy of yellow cards. But in particular, the second one, where you're already on a yellow card and somehow you're going to do a slight tackle late on Tony Cruz in his own defensive half. What exactly are you gaining from that tackle if you're Raul Garcia? So that makes it easier for Real Madrid. The other thing to highlight is the flexibility of Real Madrid. That we think, you know, plan A, plan B, we always talk about that, have that conversation, and certainly with Manchester City, for example, or for Barcelona, for example. When you look at Real Madrid today, go back to a 4-2-3-1 because Casemiro is not available since it was suspended from yellow card accumulation. Okay, so now you sit in Modric and Cruz and Valverde has a free role to go because he has this athleticism to join in the attack. Vinicius gives you work down the, right hand, down the left-hand side and Lucas Vasquez does the same down the right-hand side. And you have, of course, the presence of Benzema. And it, it, it doesn't really matter, and you talk about personnel, it doesn't really matter about the personnel when they know exactly what the roles are within each one of those formations. They go to a 4-3-3 when Casemiro's on the field. When he's not on the field, 4-2-3-1. Everybody knows the role. And Lucas Vasquez, who continues to be a guy, yeah, I'll play on the right-hand side. Yeah, I'll play right back. You put me wherever you want to put me, and I'm going to do a job for you. And you may think, well, is that really critical for Real Madrid? Yes, it is. Because at one point, you needed to find some sort of identity. And over the last four games, you found in different formations, different personalities, and yet you found an identity. And the main identity, the core identity for this group is that this group knows how to win games. They know how to win. And so it, it doesn't, it's not a surprise and it's not a coincidence that if you're Atletico Madrid and you have an opportunity to make a statement, you don't make it, Real Madrid makes a statement. That's the difference between the two clubs. That's why Real Madrid now becomes a favorite. Because when you look at the two, who do you trust to win in the end? After all bad performances, after all long season, who do you trust to win this whole thing? More so Real Madrid than you would Atletico Madrid. Who are you picking for Jules FC first? Benzema or Lewandowski, Jules? Mm. Benzema, 100%. <laughs> I mean, come on. The guys, at the end of the month, he'll be 33. 33, and this is the best years of of his career, you know, he's never played that well for, for different reasons. And, and he, he admits himself that he was at the service of, of Cristiano before and he did that great and he almost sacrificed himself or at least sacrificed his, his numbers and his, and his goals and everything for Cristiano, for the team to be successful and that worked. And he was very happy in that role, no problem. But now showing what he's showing to be the main guy, to be the one where you can rely on, who will be key in the key games, like he was in the derby, like he was tonight, like he was last season, because last season, and I will say it again, he was La Liga's best player. I don't care that Messi got 25 goals and 25 assists. He was the best player in La Liga. He got the title for Real Madrid with some helps from others, but he was outstanding in the 10 games that they won in a row after the restart. 
he was incredible. And I think, again, he's showing this season, despite the little injuries that he had at the beginning, the, the up and downs of the teams at times, he's showing again that he's the main guy. And I think seeing him playing like this is, is wonderful. He's, he's exceeded all expectations, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's not the expectations of himself and Sidan. I think they're very clear as to what they should expect from each other. But the fact is that when we were looking at Real Madrid and, so, and, and Ronaldo had walked and gone to Juventus, well, you think Bale, yeah, wasn't yeah. It? Bale was supposed yeah, to be Yeah, you're supposed well, and where are the goals going to come from? Yeah. Because see, Benzema hasn't been that guy. Well, he has been that guy. The problem is that it, 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 he's also been sort of an easy target, almost as if, well, he's playing because, you know, Zidane and him, they get along. He's, he's one of these, like, the preferred child. No. He's playing because he is more than a key contributor. He is the key to their success in the attack. Anything of value in the attack from Real Madrid goes through Karim Benzema, either with the final touch or in the build-up play or him making a run that opens something up. Everything that is valuable in the attack of Real Madrid goes through Karim Benzema one way or another. So take a look at the table. As I mentioned, Real Madrid then level on points. So Real Sociedad have the chance to establish a three-point lead over the defending champions. They are against Barcelona mm. on Wednesday. What a game, Ali. What a test for Barca and indeed for Real Sociedad as well. Yes, yet another opportunity for one of these teams that right now look like contenders, but are they going to be really contenders yes. towards the end of the season? Well, this is it. If there was ever a time to play against Barcelona, against Barcelona this would be it. Yep. You're Real Sociedad, this is it. This is your moment. If you're Barcelona, you'll be doing Real Madrid a favor by beating Real Sociedad, but you need to start winning games if you're going to have any chance, any chance whatsoever to be a major player this season. Uh, it could be a landmark game for Lionel Messi. He is only one goal away from matching Pele's record of most goals for a single club. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.